Namaste everyone. So this is the assignment that we had taken yesterday regarding step 3 of exercise 1. Observe your imagination, particularly the feeling. Whenever you are interacting with your family members, your close friends and relatives, and particularly when the interaction is unpleasant. What is your feeling towards the person during the incident? What is your feeling towards the person when you recall the incident? Is this feeling naturally acceptable to you or not? Are you comfortable or uncomfortable with the feeling? Note down your observations. We'll discuss them. So in step three, we are trying to observe whether I am comfortable with my feeling or not. That is to say whether I am in harmony or not with the feeling that I have at this moment. In exercise one, I am observing myself. That is consciousness is observing the consciousness. In step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is without reacting, without evaluating, without judging, without stopping without changing just as it is we are trying to enter into the process of pure observation without mixing anything from our side and in imagination in particular we try to look at the feeling we also discuss multiple issues that we face while observing the feeling so we said that if you are not able to observe the feeling directly then observe the object of imagination then you can observe the thought associated with it and then you can look into the purpose to make out the feelings. But essentially, I have to be clear about my feeling I have at this moment. Now in step two, we said that now we can evaluate the feeling and find out whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. That is, whether I want the continuity of it or not. That is, is it in accordance with human nature or not. And then in step three, we are trying to see whether I am comfortable with my feeling or not whether I am in harmony or not. Now, we can relate the steps of the exercise one to various incidents in our life and we can try to observe in every interaction. I can observe it within also if I'm sitting by myself. Am I comfortable with myself? If not, then I can also look into the feeling again. So many times we are able to observe the feeling first and then you can see whether you are comfortable or not. It also happens at times which I can say through my own experience, that I am able to observe whether I am comfortable or not, and then gradually I am able to observe the feeling and the and whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. Why are we doing all this? Essentially, we are trying to know our natural acceptance, and we are trying to awaken the higher level activities in me, which will ensure that happiness becomes my innate nature, and I do not have to fetch from outside this happiness. I do not have to run outside for happiness. I am happy by myself. So in step three, we are trying to check whether I am happy by myself or not. So we have so many interactions in a day. Some interactions may be pleasant. Some interactions may be unpleasant. There could be some interactions which disturb us a lot. There could be some interactions which excite a lot. So all those possibilities are there. Now being a pure observer, can I see the fluctuations in my feeling? Can I evaluate my feeling? Can I see my state as a pure observer? As if I am observing myself at a distance from myself, isn't it? I can see my imagination. So gradually, we become competent to observe the imagination from block B1. And I can see whatever is happening within me only. But I can see it without getting involved with it. I can see it as it is. This is what we are trying to practice. So if any reflection is there, any question is there, you can raise hand, you can speak up. We had also said that we can be observant of the feeling every four hours at least. So yesterday not many responses had come. So really let me ask again that are we able to set a routine? So two things I'll ask. First of all, are we able to observe ourselves? Sincerity, I'll say, not just uh, just like that. Am I able to observe myself sincerely every four hours at least sitting by myself and then trying to observe myself? Have I been able to set any routine like that? If yes, then you can respond in the chat box. And also if you have any question, you can raise your hand and ask. Nice. Nipaji is saying two to three times. Amrahji is saying yes. Nice. Gita is saying yes. Jagdish Bhaiya is saying yes. That is why I think that he is able to observe during the event itself. Yes, Anupaji is saying yes. Very nice. Devi Prasanji. Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. 
नमस्ते आल आई ऑब्जर्व सम ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस आई गॉट वाइल इंटरेक्टिंग विथ माय फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड आई आई वाज नॉट हैप्पी एंड आई कुड नॉट रिजॉल्व द कंडीशन सिचुएशन फॉर ए सम सम डेज एंड फाइनली आई हैव सीन दैट दैट हैज बिकम दैट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द माय अनहैप्पीनेस is lesson and ana i forgot recently a thing has happened some it was the incident was there so i was not happy and uh, i i was uh, not in harmony so uh, then i thought oh, that to go to the next steps but up to this i want to share now and uh, that was my reaction to the situation which happened nice bhaiya so keep observing keep observing you don't have any question no no nice bhaiya nice you are doing it very sincerely i can see and you have been sharing in every batch that is also very good to see prabhat ji yeah good morning yesterday i have tried uh, uh, three times to sit and observe myself one incident was there when i particularly come to know that one of my relative whose marriage i managed to uh, happen and the marriage is good she got a uh, the girl priya got a uh, daughter i could not get information regarding that uh, so the, the the this information hurt me a lot and uh, when i was sitting i get totally Uh, disturbed and the imaginations comes a very bad interaction was not good and then i uh, called her uh, elder sister and told that uh, her mother has come but uh, they have not in, even informed me i come to know this information from some other source then she um, told her younger sister she rang me and i talked to them they come in the evening a uh, study to me we discussed these things one hour he sat with us and now i am totally relaxed uh, the now the feeling are naturally acceptable to me at the moment when the uh, uh, the contradiction come to me i was not in a good uh, shape i was feeling uncomfortable Uh, this was not comfortable feeling but when i interact with them i express myself they come there and then totally i got relaxed i don't know this is uh, not my my innate nature sitting myself i could get uh, myself rectified but why i have done this i don't know talk to them they have come to me and then everything is now uh, feeling is now comfortable and okay but can i uh, bhaiya can i i would have done it without interacting with them uh, and uh, this thing can be taken care by me myself i don't know would i uh, would i have done this or what i have done is right or wrong i don't know one thing is there that you can be comfortable by yourself a good thing is that you observed you know, and you observed that you were getting uncomfortable now we can be comfortable also by ourselves by exploring that the various possibilities right so that can also make me comfortable maybe the relative does not have the feeling of relationship or something else might be there so that may only be a lack of competence and not exactly the lack of intention so this is not their intention but only that some lack of competence might be there or some misinformation could also be there so this is one part so by myself i can be comfortable the second thing is that to get the right information i can always get in dialogue with them i can interact this is also possible so with comfort inside also i can have a dialogue that why you were not informed when others were informed so you had to get the information indirectly that i have Maybe. done yeah 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 but you became uncomfortable first and then you you know try to face the information so you can see how you can be comfortable by yourself even though you are not into dialogue with the other or before you get in dialogue with the other how you can be comfortable this is also quite possible this is quite possible through self exploration 
वंस आई एम एबल टू सी दैट इंटेंशन ऑफ एवरी ह्यूमन बीइंग इज प्योर बट कॉम्पिटेंस में बी लैकिंग और सम टाइम द इंफॉर्मेशन मे नॉट बी देयर इवन द कॉम्पिटेंस इज देयर सम टाइम्स वी मिस आउट सर्टेन नेम्स फॉर एग्जांपल देयर इज सम ओकेजन एट योर होम यू हैव टू इनवाइट 100 पीपल यू मे मिस आउट सम नेम दिस इज नॉट बिकॉज़ यू डू नॉट हैव द फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप फॉर द अदर इट मे बी बिकॉज़ यू जस्ट स्लिप्ड योर माइंड दैट इज पॉसिबल right bhaiya right. but bhaiya i i couldn't understand that how can i try to become comfortable uh, with my own imagination feeling without interacting others how can i proceed towards that even no, we are discussing right now see the other person is not there but we yes. can see various possibilities i can always be assured of the intention of the other that the other person wants to be happy and make me happy yeah right is that the is there that is there yeah. and i can also see that right understanding is not ensured in the other because the other has not entered into the process of self exploration so happiness is not innate to the other so the conduct of the other may not be definite that is something which i can make out for myself as well all my relatives unless right. i have the right. understanding yeah. in completeness my conduct is not going to be definite so sometimes one may feel related to me sometimes opposed to me sometimes one may over evaluate me sometimes under evaluate me sometimes you know or otherwise evaluate me sometimes rightly evaluate me this is also there so i am always open to all the possibilities with the assurance about the intention of the other and then there are possibilities like we have some limitation in the imagination also we tend to forget few of the things if you have to remember 10 things at a time and then uh speak them out you may forget a few things a perfect perfect that happened that happened see once we start doubting the intention of the other that the other person wants to ignore me or under evaluate me or show me down or all those things then we become uncomfortable okay bhaiya okay bhaiya thank you bhaiya lipi goswami namaste bhaiya namaste everyone Uh, bhai i am just uh, i just want to ask you that uh, i can i i can do the exercise i can also feel uh, whether i am comfortable or not <clears throat> but sometimes i am in a doubt whether my i am going in the right way or not because um, i can feel my observation um, just after some time of my um, when I, whenever i am imagining an observation are not going on at the same time till now i have raise this question once more bhaiya now also it is going on in that way but i can feel that whether i am uh, through my imagination or my feeling i can feel that i am whether comfortable or not uh, so i want to ask you bhaiya whether i am going in the right way in doing this exercises now if you are able to see that sometimes you are comfortable sometimes you are not comfortable that is good but then again you can start from step 1 also try to observe the feeling yesterday the way you were sharing or maybe day before so you still have to or might have to work to observe the feeling more closely what is my feeling at the moment mm-hmm. so sometimes mm-hmm. it is easier for us to observe whether i am comfortable inside or not mm-hmm. even though i am not able to observe the feeling i can make it out but mm-hmm. this will not help me transform my feeling because i am i am not able to observe my feeling no? so what will i transform what will mm-hmm. i evaluate yes yes bhai bhaiya uh, one more one more thing uh, bhaiya uh, i have a teenage son so uh, during interaction uh, only particularly study i always tell him that you have to study at least you have to sit at 6 pm and then you have to um, uh, say, say sit till 9 pm and you have to study this is a regularity uh, you have to practice this all these things i always keep on telling him but i feel that he is um, he does not listen to me in that case um, other things are okay but study is not going on very regularly so i always have something in my mind that if this continues maybe if he <clears throat> if he does not perform well then what will happen but at the same time he knows that he if he does not perform well he will not um, uh, have a good performance and all and he keeps on telling that yes yes i will do that i will do that after that also he forgets and keeps on doing everything as it is so i feel irritated sometimes my husband tell me that you why do you tell him so much 
so bhaiya what to do i have to tell him or how i have to leave him so that he understands himself for like that bhaiya to we try to do that thing which makes us comfortable so the child is not able to make out why he has to study because he may not be comfortable studying so that's why if you see when we conduct a workshop for the students we start by studying and then say that why do you want to study to to become something why do you want to become something to get or do something and ultimately why do you want to do or get something to be happy so why not start from the understanding of happiness so this kind of exploration may be due so it is not able to relate studies to happiness and many times it may not be true also isn't it so i have to see how this study is going to make me happy in continuity so that holistic perspective has to be developed in the child that is not there so in place of saying something in terms of do's or don'ts every time you can help the child understand his basic aspirations and the program to fulfill his basic aspirations once that part is clear then the child will be in a better position to decide for himself whether he is going to study or not that is not there the child will not be able to do by your wishes if yes, you just keep on saying something and you know, i like for example if the child said something to you that please do this and do this every day for 3 hours you may also not feel very comfortable about it for example you may be cooking for the family okay mm-hmm. and you are doing this because you are feeling related to the family mm-hmm. but if you do not feel related to the family and you are asked to cook for 2 hours every day for a given time 6 to 8 pm you become uncomfortable you lose your interest so if that feeling part is not ensured then how we like carry out some program mm. uh, regularly thank you now we see what we can do we can observe this for some time so let us observe this for 10 minutes and then we proceed further so we have to start by observing the feeling inside then we have to see whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not and then see whether i am comfortable with the feeling or not so let us observe for 10 minutes and then we'll discuss it further
जी नाइस कैन शेयर आवर रिफ्लेक्शन और एनी क्वेश्चन सो हैव टू बी क्लियर अबाउट माय फीलिंग एंड आई हैव टू बी एबल टू सी वेदर इट इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी नेचुरली और नॉट एंड वेदर आई एम कंफर्टेबल विथ इट और नॉट नाउ ऑल दिस आई कैन डू बाय माय सेल्फ एंड जस्ट दैट आई हैव टू बी अवेयर आई डोंट नीड एनी एक्सटर्नल सपोर्ट आल्सो फॉर दिस नॉट इवन ऑफ माय बॉडी I have to observe my feeling. I have to evaluate myself. I have to see my current state. Nice. So keep on doing this, and we'll proceed with the discussion. We are trying to do self-evaluation of the current state. I'm evaluating the impact of my feeling, thought at this moment on my state of being. With this feeling, am I comfortable within or uncomfortable within? Am I in a state of harmony within or in contradiction within? Am I in a state of happiness or in a state of unhappiness within? now from this exploration you can be able to make out various issues which make you comfortable or make you uncomfortable there could be some issues which make me uncomfortable highly uncomfortable and there could be some issue which does not make me uncomfortable for example someone tells a lie to you okay there will be some people who become highly uncomfortable because why this person is telling lie to me i am expecting always this person to tell the truth there is some person who would be ignoring it okay i am not saying ignoring the solution so you'll see that it depends on our state of imagination our level of competence what makes me uncomfortable what makes me comfortable isn't it you have to appear for some examination somebody would be getting very nervous somebody would not be even thinking about it taking it just casually somebody would be thinking about it little uh profoundly so the same thing is there but our state may be different so at a personal level i can make out what makes me comfortable and what makes me uncomfortable i can make i can make a list of all these issues that will be very helpful and on all those counts then i can see whether my level of competence has gone up or not the way i became uncomfortable for example if someone is shouting at you it may just make you shake it may just make you shiver you know why this person how this person can shout upon me right and it may keep you uncomfortable for months together but maybe when i am going to explore it deeply i do not become uncomfortable to that extent in simple to that extent so that is also possible so at a personal level we can make a list of all those issues which make us uncomfortable or comfortable isn't it and then we can try to explore as we go further we try to look into the conditioning the assumption behind it what i am assuming which makes me so uncomfortable some person should be very sensitive on certain issues some person should not be so sensitive for example you are differentiated either in the family or in the organization there will be some people who would not be very sensitive towards it there will be some who will be very sensitive towards it isn't it you went to meet somebody you were not offered a chair somebody would not mind it let it be somebody would become highly com- uncomfortable how this person could not even offer me a chair so if you try to relate it to your personal life then you will be able to explore deeply your current state of being this is just a hint at it what i am sharing from my side but there would be lot many issues if you try to list out you know there would be hundreds of such issues and then from there also you can draw some conclusion by listing all these as we do some experiment no in the physics or chemistry laboratories we note our observations and from the observation we are able to conclude something so by observing all this you can make out your sanskar you can make out your sanskar try to do this it will help you too much in the long run isn't it so for example observe and evaluate this when you have the feeling of affection and when you have the feeling of opposition when i have the feeling of feeling which is naturally acceptable to me i am comfortable i am in harmony i am in a state of happiness within the moment i have a feeling that is not acceptable to me naturally i am uncomfortable i am in contradiction unhappy within at that moment so look into this try to make it out this is a doable exercise so i can see that the feeling that i have decides my state of happiness or unhappiness isn't it so maybe you are able to observe that you are happy or you are unhappy you can also be able to observe the feeling at the moment and then you can relate it if i have this kind of feeling i am going to be uncomfortable if i have this kind of feeling i am going to be comfortable so if i have feeling which is naturally acceptable it leads to a state of harmony and happiness 
and if i have feeling which is not naturally acceptable it leads to the state of disharmony and unhappiness i remain happy with the feeling which is natural to me i remain unhappy with the feeling which is not natural to me and we have to do this exercise every moment to we'll see by all this ultimately we are trying to reach out to the natural acceptance and now we can be in a better position to distinguish between my natural acceptance and acceptance but try to make a list of all those issues okay because uh many times we keep on listening to the same word again and again we can be speaking also but the meaning may not be reflecting upon me on a gross level we can say that yes this is acceptable to me naturally this is not acceptable to me naturally but can i make it out in my every imagination in my every feeling can i be clear of my every feeling so the more we are able to do this with sincerity we are able to grasp the meaning of the words also more clearly and you will see that looking to the meaning of this word natural acceptance i am able to go within deeper and deeper and at some point of time i am able to contemplate on the right feeling i am able to make out what this feeling is and then you will see that no longer is the use of any word required we are able to see the reality as it is this word was just an indication towards that reality and once you are able to awaken any higher level activity once you are able to contemplate on the right feeling then you can also be confident of the presence of that feeling inside you the potential inside you to be able to see that naturally acceptable feeling as you go along this will be more clear so here you have to be observant about yourself your current state of being and as i was mentioning you can list out all those issues you know, which make you comfortable or which make you uncomfortable you are sitting by yourself comfortably today is sunday you get a phone call and that call itself makes you uncomfortable okay you read some news in the new paper you become uncomfortable you some you see something in the house which is not as per your instructions you become uncomfortable for example you have instructed everyone to switch off the light if the, if one is not there in the room and you find the lights on you become uncomfortable you may feel very angry you may start shivering with anger you know the same thing i am telling again and again every day and they are not listening isn't it if you see uh, the common interactions in the family you see that we keep on becoming uncomfortable so many times in a day on so many occasions and then we keep on reacting we keep on shouting at each, at each other we keep on getting opposed to each other right and we are not even aware that i am uncomfortable within and then i am trying to ease it out by shouting at the other by reacting to the other and when you have a large family say you are living in a joint family and there are so many issues coming up right and most of the time you find yourself uncomfortable even in the nuclear family this will happen even at your workplace this will happen and you keep on blaming others for your discomfort for your unhappiness will explore it further as we go along right so i have to be aware whether i am comfortable or not i can also try to make out what all makes me comfortable what all makes me uncomfortable and that will reflect on my level of competence if you note them all and then look at them again you, know, you can see yes i am carrying a position here i am carrying a few relationship here right i am not able to see the body as my instrument here and then you can draw conclusions after that and then we can work further to develop the competence but we have to enter into the process of exploration okay no need to hasten towards the outcome right because then we start working at the level of expectation and the pure observation remains due so we have to do this every moment so let us take some more examples suppose you are sitting in an air conditioned room at 21 degrees so physically it is very favorable now if you are sitting with someone with whom you have feeling opposition for example a dominating boss right are you comfortable or uncomfortable inside does this feeling lead to a state of harmony within or contradiction within does it lead to a state of happiness within or unhappiness within so we try to make our life comfortable by physical facilities isn't it so now it is summer time in the north particularly in the temperature is in, is reaching 50 degree celsius you can see you know, that we keep on 
making our rooms comfortable by turning the AC on and by arranging for so many facilities in the house. Similarly, in the offices, we try to make life comfortable by arranging for so many facilities. Now, given all those facilities, right, if I do not have the feeling of relationship with those with whom I am working, then we can make it out whether we are comfortable inside or not. And you can also see whether the physical facilities are going to be making me uncomfortable or comfortable or it is something else which makes me comfortable. So are you comfortable within or uncomfortable within? Does this feeling lead to a state of harmony within or contradiction within? Does it lead to a state of happiness within or unhappiness within? So you are sitting with someone and with whom you are feeling opposition, maybe your boss, you are sitting on a sofa four inches deep, right? Four inches thick sofa, 21 degrees Celsius of temperature, and you are just sprawling on the chair or the sofa. But you do not have the feeling of relationship with the person. And you keep on becoming uncomfortable so many times in a day and due to such things. Initially, you may not be able to see the imagination the moment the incident occurs, as you may not have developed the capacity at it. At that time, is it okay? Or at that time, it is okay to reflect on the incident as an afterthought and analyze it to see your feeling. Once you develop the capacity of observing the imagination, you can directly see the feeling at the base of your imagination, even while the incident is occurring. So. Maybe at that point of time, you had to decide so many things. You were behaving with the other person. So you were very not, you are not that clear about your feeling, even your state of being. Then you can go back and think. You can go back and evaluate and try to make out what was your state yesterday. So for example, today I can make out for my time spent yesterday, the whole day whether I was comfortable within or uncomfortable within. When did I become comfortable? When did I become uncomfortable? You might be carrying also some baggage of thought even today from whatever happened yesterday. As Prabhat, you are sharing you know, that he was not informed about the birth of the child and he became uncomfortable. Now, that, that may continue for hours together. So something happens with us, right, which makes us uncomfortable. And we may be churning the same thing in our thoughts again and again. And this is something common to everyone. You know, to each one of us. We all are co-explorers. So try to make it out. You know, what all happened to you yesterday and what made you comfortable yesterday, what made you uncomfortable yesterday. Right? This will help you evaluate your competence also. Any questions, any reflections, you can raise hand and ask. So try to look into this. Anyone from batch 10 would like to ask? Yeah, Seema Ji. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, I thought I'll talk to you personally, but I don't know. I'm a little so much in disharmony that I really don't know where to start with. And uh, yesterday, certain events happened, uh, which uh, as we uh, say that my mind was so disturbed that till 3.30 in the night, I couldn't sleep. And uh, then in the morning again, I am still wondering. Uh, so, Bea, it's a little long episode. Uh, yesterday, actually, we are hosting a national seminar in another 15 days time. And uh, the whole community and the whole area uh, in uh, Kemur is working on it. I am in the core committee here and uh, my husband is the uh, convener. So we are working, of course, day and night into this along with our other duties. Yesterday, we had a meeting a large uh, in the morning also, in the evening also. Uh, apparently, in this, uh, there is a few, there are a few incidents uh, prior to this. But uh, I feel my uh, behavior and my harmony was so disturbed during the meeting in the morning also and in the evening also, that that really left me a little disturbed, questioning my uh, entire uh, uh, training uh, so far, that I have been pretty resolved quite some time. But, uh, and of course, uh, refrain from reaction, understanding the other point, person's 
perspective to a large extent. This is not clear. Uh, what is disturbing you? Uh, yeah, actually, in, uh, there is uh, uh, one senior member in the society uh, who is around 75, 80 plus. Uh, he is the, <clears throat> we chose to, uh, sorry, we chose to have him as a sanrakshak of the this entire seminar. So, but uh, in the society, he's been pretty domineering. So this entire uh, seminar uh, is an exercise uh, to remember a member in the drafting committee and also the first MLA of this uh, region, uh, a very social and a very uh, a person, uh, but he was not really given his due recognition. So everyone felt that we must, uh, you know, work to uh, give him recognition and also highlight his uh, activities. And also in the same process to have him, uh, I mean, uh, accordingly in the society also to make them a uh, little strengthen them, work on social uh, activities which are relevant to society. So this is the, was the motto of the uh, seminar and the theme accordingly. Now, uh, since my husband is the convener, so we are working together on this. But in the process, the person who actually handed over this bat baton that you people, if uh, you will take this over, uh, he in the process probably felt that he is being sidelined. And also the person who was chosen as the chairperson of the meeting, she is an ex-colleague also, a relative also. But yesterday there was a major showdown uh, because she probably felt I... I requested her being busy till 9.30 in the night. I said, if you can write note for asking for uh, the Shubhkamna Sandesh from the um, chief minister and, you know, from the various dignitaries for the souvenir, uh, because I am in the souvenir committee also. So we said, if we can, if you can do that. She somehow felt that I was probably dictating her because in the morning meeting, she said, I will not work under anyone's... Uh, I will not work under anyone's... Uh, but yeah, am I being coherent or can we talk later? I think uh, I may be taking time. There may be other members who may want to uh, explore the content. What I have to share is relevant to uh, what we are discussing, whether one was comfortable or not comfortable. But one will not be able to understand till I uh, explain the prelude as to what how and how this whole thing started. Fine, fine. Only one thing I'll say that okay. we try to articulate all that happened mm -hmm. and try to, first of all, see the feeling that you had inside for this person who was trying to dominate and for other colleagues also with whom you are uh, making the program. Try to look into the feeling. So maybe it, you are trying to see the behavior of the other, but you are missing out on the feeling part of yourself. So if I'm able to see my feeling due to, I can see that due to some behavior of the other, I got opposed, right? And then with that opposition only, I'm imagining about the other, which is making me uncomfortable. It is quite possible, but you can share it here and discuss it later. If it takes too much time, okay. but try to make out the feeling first within yourself. Otherwise, these details of the incidents will not take us anywhere. So Bhaya, the, uh, the feeling is, you know, the feeling of being used and exploited. And when that feeling comes, then my yesterday's feeling was to exit out of the core committee and exit out of all the committees. So I mean, the not... The feeling of being exploited or being used right, is something that you have analyzed. But were you having the feeling of relationship or opposition when this was happening? It may be the case that you are expecting something from outside which became uncomfortable, unfavorable for you. And it make, made you uncomfortable within. And you developed a feeling of opposition for the other. So the way you are sharing, it may be the case that you are trying to look at the problem in the other. And then also trying to resolve by evaluating the other. But more importantly, I have to look into the feeling inside me and have to evaluate it. <clears throat> the other may not be competent. But am I able to see that the intention is pure? And the way you share that the other person who was doing like this for 75 years old. So 
so you can also see the limitation of the other that at this stage the other person may not be able to evaluate rightly or may not be able to explore so i may have that kind of generosity for the other also so maybe we can discuss it later right but okay. try to look into the feeling part in place of finding the problem outside in the interaction for the incident try to look into the feeling part of yourself and then try to articulate okay bhaiya okay didi han ji sorry kan ji yeah namaste good morning good morning uh, bhaiya it is my sharing it is not any question okay that's uh, yeah. while discussion there was something uh, discussed about switching off light so i used to walk daily morning from almost 5:30 to 6:30 the session i was just hearing uh, during this time that's my sharing is bhaiya that's uh, there were street lights on the way while i am traveling i am walking so there are many street lights and in front of the house also uh, the even the owners or maybe the people who are living in that house they are sitting in the front of the house or maybe below the street light only but they don't switch off and usually at the beginning i feel very unhappy about this but anyway that's now i could see that whether they are switched off or not but i used to switch it off and i won't feel uh, whether they are switching off or not but i feel it is better to switch off and i will switch off and i will just move that's now that my feeling part is i am not feeling anything opposition or unhappy about Uh, the people who are there. This is my sharing, boy. Nice, nice, boy. And I'll say that this is one part. Now to develop the competence of the people, maybe you can have some occasion where you can share this issue, and you can request others also to share their exploration about this. That does it have to continue, or we can own this responsibility? If this is happening regularly and people are not paying attention, then we can also see what other measure can be taken. so that the energy can be saved so a very good thing is that you are no longer getting uncomfortable but i also have to see my participation now because that issue still persists people are not able to switch off the light and the energy is getting wasted away so with a feeling of relationship to all the people what program can i make to resolve the issue that yeah. is also yeah, one observation bhai yeah that's uh, one person who was sitting just uh, below the street light only and now he started switching off within uh, almost uh, 15 <laughs> days onwards what i am observing i not told anything about uh, to switch off or not but my observation is he used to switch it off before i am walking through that particular point bhai this is one observation bhai nice nice bhaiya yeah thank you bhaiya thank you very much ji so i request tara bhaiya to conclude ji yeah. Thank you so much, Kumar Bhaiya, for putting the discussion and helping everyone for the self exploration. So thank you to all the participants for exploring, for being a part of this unique part of the morning session, putting reflections, asking questions.